Hey, quick video here. I gotta wash some goop off my hand. But I just wanna tell you, I got stopped by the cops. I left the tunnel and I got stopped by the police, okay? So hold on, wait a second, wait. Hold on, man. Wait. Yeah, I got stopped by the police. I was on the bench outside in the sun. I left the tunnel now, right? They got me. They pulled over, they asked me a couple questions. They, they told me they were part of a homeless outreach. Oh, oh shit, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but I don't usually do that, fuck. But they told me they were also part of a homeless outreach. They tried to, to lead me to a homeless outreach. Like, I gotta, I gotta research things before I, before I look into them, before I go, and, you know, stuff like that. They just wanted my basic information. They said, you can't be drinking out here. You know that, right? Another cop, they'll, they'll see you, they'll get you. They warned me. You know, that's what they should have fucking did in Vegas. Said the fucking cop there wanted to fucking detain me and put my hands on the bars until it was like a 20 minute more, more process. This was like just five minutes. They just asked basic questions and stuff. I told them my name. It's like, are you Italian? They're like, yeah, I'm Italian. And the cop looked Middle Eastern actually. Two cops that came, or whatever, you know, they were, they were feeling nice, I'd say, you know, they just said, hey, just keep in mind that you can't drink out here or whatever, you know, someone else will catch you or something like that. Have a nice day. They didn't ask me for my license or anything. They didn't. I was sitting on a bench crossing my legs, but they saw the 40 out. It's kind of like Bradley Knoll, right? Sublime and, and LBC or whatever, you know. And the cops and all that, like something like they say about that shit in their songs. But hey, these cops are pretty cordial. They just want a basic info. I was like, have a nice day. Just, just keep mindful that you can't drink here. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was kind of like one of those. And they didn't even make sure I threw it out before they left. They just left, and I just got a couple big fucking sips. And then I went on my way. <laughs> So see, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I'm not rude to them. I answer their questions. You know what I'm saying? I told them, hey, I'm nomadic. I was in Las Vegas and they're bad there too. They thought that you could drink with an open container there. Maybe you can, but the cops are stricter about other shit over there. Like going through a splash pad. They'll detain you for that. They claim you got to have a child with you. If you're going to go through the splash pad as an adult, I was alone. They had me. They detained me in Las Vegas. I didn't tell you that. They literally detained me. I had to put my. It was a Hispanic cop, too. A Hispanic cop fucking detained me in Las Vegas. S. Santiago was his name. S. Santiago had me put my hands on the bars of his freaking cruiser. And he had backup, and the backup, they were making conversation with me a little bit. Why'd you choose Vegas? What made you come to Las Vegas? I'm like, why would anyone come to Las Vegas? He's like, hmm. He's like, oh, it'd be too hot. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it. Too hot for me, personally. So the backup police were making conversation with me. But this head cop was Hispanic, and he called backup. He was afraid of me. He was fucking scared to death of me, even though he had a firearm on him, and I didn't have one on me. He was scared of me. He called backup. But today, the cops that pulled me, they just said, they just wanted basic information. They tried to tell me about a homeless outreach program. So California is doing more for the homeless. I mean, I got to give them credit for that. These cops were nice. They just want a basic info, and that's really it. They were on there. It's like someone else, if you if they see you drinking, they're going to catch you. It's kind of like how my cousin's trained for Boston, you know, and he's a pretty good cop. You know, my cousin's a good cop, a very good cop. So they trained similarly in Massachusetts, I guess, to California. I guess they pretty much train, like, where they don't ask excessive questions, but they just want your basic info. And the cop who asked me about if I wanted a bed or not. A bed? I don't know about that. I'm pretty skeptical. I gotta, I gotta research that some. I gotta research. They wanted my phone number. I'm like, do I have to give it? They're like, no. I'm like, okay, I will. Thank you. <laughs> so, I'm going to the bathroom. While I'm, I'm doing this vlog, I'm going to the bathroom. 
I don't want my beer, I threw it out, I can enjoy the rest of the day, I didn't get arrested, I just, just had a little, little talk with the cop, and they wanted to, just talk. I'm kind of like, huh, I can't hear you, sorry. Oh, okay, when they rolled down the window, I'm like, what? Why am I being poked? I was just sitting cross-legged, sexy, <laughs> with my with my hurricane, on a bench, on a bus bench, outside. When I was in the tunnel, I was safe, I should have stayed in the tunnel, but you know what? They didn't ask me excessive questions, you know what I'm saying? They didn't. They just wanted basic info, and that was really it. I think they care for the people. I think they care for the people over here. I really think they care about the people more over here. I think they do. Because the, that, that policing that I experienced here was kind of like how my cousin is policing people. Like not really excessive, just like hey, just just keep in mind that for future reference, there's other cops that will get you worse. So, so just just keep on guard with that or whatever. Have a nice day. Kind of like that. So, all right, I'll talk to you all later. I gotta go. I just had to take a piss. I was gonna take a piss, but there was a homeless guy there, and he asked me for a light. I'm like, I don't have a light. It's like okay. So no conflict, and I moved into a more city area, too. I mean, I fucking got into that, nearly got into that fight with the Hispanic guy in front of a Dick's Sporting Goods in a, in a, in a suburban, nicer-looking place. So that's what I'm trying to prove. Not everywhere has to be bad for things like that to happen. I'll talk to you later, everybody. Bye for now. Bye.